Hi guys, Melissa here. Welcome back to my channel. And I have a few black market hauls. <laughs> um, some stuff I had gotten because it's not like you can get them from Scentsy right now. So I got them from eBay, Poshmark, places that claim not to be Scentsy consultants or retired Scentsy consultants or whatever. I have some wax bars to share with you, but really quick, I did get a few um, Bath and Body Works things and I thought that I would share with you. Um, as you can see, I have like the white and the blue pumpkin. It's kind of hard to find that stuff. So this is a candle holder. It's actually velvety. Uh, I can't remember if I got this off eBay or Poshmark, but yeah, so I have this candle holder um, and this just sits on my table as a display for Thanksgiving. So I thought I would share that with you. I thought it went really well with those and I couldn't resist it. And if you've seen a lot of times on the coffee table, I have like this pumpkin. I ended up getting this on clearance from Bath and Body Works. It was 50% um, off and um, it only, it was only, it was originally $50. I got it for $25 and I love it because it kind of goes with all my green. So I kind of have it out here now, but for my, then I was like, well, what about my living room? So. I ended up getting this one. Now, I don't know if you can tell. To me, this one looks a little... It's like some fuzz. I don't know if that's a mark on it. I guess I didn't notice when I got it. Um, to me, it looks a little dirtier. I love that the candle kind of matches. It's almost like soot. I didn't think I got one with any marks. I thought I got one that was new, but I think I wasn't paying attention. I got excited, um, picked one. Well, I mean, it's not that bad, but to me it looks a little dirty. And I just noticed that. I didn't notice that before. I mean, I know there's like fuzz on it. I don't know if it's just a little something got on it, but um, I love this though. But it may bother me, the fact that it's not like brand new. And I don't know what that is if I, I didn't see that before. So, but to me, it looks a little dingy. Is anyone else seeing that? Like I almost want to get one that says it's brand new. I don't know. I haven't made up my mind. I might try. I don't know. Um, and deal for Christmas um, got me one and this is I want to get the little mushroom warmer from Scentsy it's on my to-do list and this is like a single candle holder and I thought this was perfect I kind of had to have it <laughs> and so it sits in my bathroom in the meantime but yeah those are the candle holders that I've gotten um, I'm actually pretty pleased with those. Now I got a couple warmers. Poshmark. Okay, so I ordered some Senegents. It was like, like half price. Couldn't resist and kind of like an acne spot treatment. And the girl's like, oh no, that shouldn't have been on there. Cancel my order, gave me my money back. I'm like, okay, fine. <laughs> I have to pay more full price of what's on there. It's like a slight discount, like 10% discount. So I was like, okay, I haven't done that yet, but, um, then I, it's like the Christmas glow warmer. I think it is. It's like red etched glass. I bought that from someone off Poshmark. Poshmark. <laughs> Cause I kind of think that pumpkin came from Poshmark too. Um, like the other one that I'll show you in that um, the mushroom and the other metal pumpkin warmer, those came from eBay. I kind of think I like eBay, but you have to watch because sometimes people want like four times the price of something. And I'm just like, I'm not paying like $400 for a limited edition warmer. It's just not going to happen. Like I don't need any warmer that bad. <laughs> um, 
Yeah, so you, you got to watch what you're doing there on eBay because some people are great and I would go with someone who's 100% positive reviews um, or really I wouldn't go under 95%. Now, so that red Christmas glow, that was Poshmark and she couldn't find it. She couldn't find it anywhere. Tried to get me to take something else she had. I'm like, I don't, those aren't warmers I'm looking for. So she gave me my money back. That's fine. Canceled the order, gave me my money back. Like seriously, like I'm struggling a little. <laughs> so I went back to, well, okay. So this was also Poshmark. Can you hear it? I was like, seriously? So she had like a, those of us who've been with Sensi know, <laughs> I would never send someone this box, cover it in Sensi um, bubble mailers, tape those together, then put brown craft paper. I would never do that. I would do a box inside of a box and I save a ton of the paper that Sensi gives us for shipping and I'd be putting that paper all around. The paper weighs, weighs practically nothing, but protects the warmer, right? No, people don't do that. I was like, I could hear it was broken already. I thought, please God, let it be the light bulb. Light bulbs I can deal with. So it came like this and I was like, oh, here we go. <laughs> okay, so this came, but really? You gave me your used wax. And when I said something, she's like, oh, I just melted it for the picture, didn't have the heart to get rid of it, thought you'd like it. Who wants to buy a warmer that's not clean? It's, I mean, that's fine. Like I can I can clean the wax myself. So, so I have the mini Lumina, it's one of my favorite things. I've been dying to get a full size Lumina. And so the lid is fine. I was like, okay. And it's got the, this how this other than UPS suck or mail I'm trying to think I think it was the mail mail or UPS well they suck how this got broken I don't necessarily know and it was only broken on the inside like so in the pictures it wasn't broken but you can clearly see it's broken. And I was like, are you kidding me? Like, are you kidding me? Like, I was very disappointed. So if you put this on there, it's broken. And the heat is gonna come out and not melt the dish very well. I was like, that, that is not okay. So I said something too, like, you guys, like if I'm gonna send someone something, I want it to look like brand new and I would sure as heck protect it. It's got wax on the lid, which is fine. I can clean it. It's just the principle of the thing. Like, so I, I'm like, I got my money back cause I put a case in. Thank God I took pictures cause they wanted to see exactly how it was packed. Thank God I had everything and could take the pictures. Now I've considered super gluing this because it's just the top. And I was like, well, I could super glue it, but my kindness former from Sensi, it was cracked down here, just a hairline crack. And um, I, I got concerned that the whole warmer would get too hot and break kind of, I don't think that'll happen. I mean, this is just a 20 watt bulb. And it's on the top. It just kind of prevents, I mean, this is not gonna fall in, but, and it's just the rim. I think it'll be okay. But my OCD is like, really like I should just, I mean, I got my money back which is how I got my wax bars because I got all my money back from all this stuff. Um, but I don't know, it was very disappointing. So, I don't know you guys, I might super glue it or I might just try to find another one. But I'm, I'm just, I'm so disappointed. I wanted this so bad.
I think it's so beautiful and as you can see it completely matches my decor um and this was a warmer that was before my time I think 2019 maybe I mean it wasn't that far back before my time I was able to get the mini Lumina it was just being retired when I joined so but I did get another one this one I got off eBay <laughs> I, I'm obsessed <gasps> look now one good thing this girl the the girl on ebay did the exact same thing bubble mailer wrapped it and um i think she had a no that was the mushroom the mushroom came in perfect like wrapped inside of a box with bubble mailer like bubble stuff and bubble packaging and then inside of a bigger box with, and I was like, okay, the the like the person on eBay did a fantastic job. This one, so it came in a Scentsy box, which is on the floor, has everything. This is metal, but you guys look at the butterflies. I think it's called Butterfly Atrium, if I'm not mistaken. All the scent's gonna come out of there. It's nice and petite. It basically looks brand new. There's no dried wax in here. I mean, it's perfect. It looks. It either wasn't used or, which I think it was, I mean, cause there is some like minor, but that could just be the way it came out when it was kiln. I don't know. Um, it doesn't even have the, the amount of scent cubes on the, oh, but you guys, I love this thing so much. It's a hot plate warmer. This one is. I was so trouble finding it at first. This is a 10 watt warmer, you guys. This is gonna be absolutely fantastic. I'm obsessed with this warmer, obsessed. And it goes with my whole decor. <laughs> that made me super happy and I'm super obsessed with that. Love. So for me, I'm probably gonna go on eBay. <laughs> um, I've, I've had better luck with eBay and look for the people that know what they're doing. And I'm probably gonna be so picky that I'm probably gonna go with people with 100% positive feedback. Uh, I, I mean, sometimes it is nice to get it cheaper, but is it worth it? Is it worth this hot mess? I don't know, part of me feels bad because if I super glue it, it works fine. Then I feel like I got it for free. <laughs> but I also said, I wish that this warmer had come wrapped a box within a box like Scentsy sends them. Cause that was highly disappointing. I was super excited. It was only 20 bucks and then like $7.95 shipping and tax. So it was only like $30, but still, I feel like if Sensi came out with that, honey, leave him alone. Leave him alone. If Sensi remade that, I don't even think they're gonna do like the bring back my warmer. It's not bring back my warmer. Re I don't know what it is. Retired warmer thing, which is kind of disappointing. Maybe they'll do it in December. I don't know. Um, Maybe I'll see it. I don't, I don't, I haven't this. Okay. So I did get some wax bars. Now I have, let's see. I got the Valentine's Day collection last year in the, in the January warmer of the month. I don't think I got anything else um, because I have Easter, Mother's Day, Father's Day, Summer, the wellness collection, the Star Wars realm, I think, I can't even remember what they're named. Um, the in and out collection I wanna get. I have all of those in my club. The things I didn't get to try are in my club. Harry Potter, um, what is it, Honey Dukes. So they're all in my club. So, I did find some from someone some of those wax bars. 
because those, those clubs are now very expensive and I'm gonna have to save for a couple months to get them because they have so much wax in them, like the bring back my bars and everything. So my goal is not to do that this year and to try all the things. So this person wrapped it very nicely. Now this is gonna be mental health awareness bars. Oh, I smell the lavender one from here. So basically I wanna be able to trim my clubs, like get what I can get from people selling these sets at a reasonable price. Like these were basically what I would have paid for them from Sensi. I'm okay with that. Don't like triple charge me. <laughs> like I happened to find these, they were the right price and I got them. So, or at least make them come out to six, you know, unless they're limit, like Disney or um, Pixar or something. Make sure they're at least six, seven dollars a bar. Okay, mental health awareness. I'm really excited. I have these, I have these pulled up to see. Oh, I mean, broken clam, but that's okay. Like, I don't care. I'm gonna melt it anyway to see if I want to keep it in my club or just get rid of it because it's not my thing. Now, unfortunately, this is probably early access, so it didn't come with a sticker, or else they took the sticker out. Like, whatever. Okay. So, first one, my first sniffs ever, blue lavender and bergamot. This is lavender, bergamot, and a touch of eucalyptus encourage rejuvenation with every breath. Ooh, this is nice. That's very nice, wow. Now, bergamot comes off kind of masculine or feminine, but it kind of comes off like soapy, perfumey, or cologne. But the lavender is so nice in this. Tater. He has a cute little voice. That might stay in my club. It depends. Um, I wish I still had provincial lavender. I really do love lavender scents. Okay, the next one, um, we'll do them out of order because it doesn't matter because you've long seen these. Rose, <laughs> rosemary and mint. A rush of fresh garden mint invigorates rosemary oil and eucalyptus. Not sure I'm gonna love this one. It shoots the broken one anyway. Well, if I can get it open. Um, it comes off and it's probably, there's something almost camphor in it, like Vicks Vapor Rub, but there's something really soothing in it. Is it the mint? I mean, it could be the eucalyptus. The eucalyptus sometimes comes off camphor. The mint is actually very nice. It's not so much a garden mint. It's a little more butter mint. I, I don't know, I have to see. I don't know, I'm gonna have to milk that. I, my goal is to get things out of my club. Okay, uh, chamomile and vanilla. That's gingy. Chamomile flower and sheer vanilla share a meditative moment of calm. Ooh, I really love that one. Let's hope this one performs. Oh, that's really nice. Now I also have chamomile petals in my club. Ooh, I love that. Hmm, so far so good on that one. And the last one is lemon and mandarin. <laughs> lemon and mandarin is a citrus infusion of Meyer, Meyer lemon and mandarin lightens the mood with a hint of lime. Oh, that's actually nice. I'm sure I'm obsessed with it. I mean, 
pan, obviously I'm gonna have to melt it, but that's actually really nice. Almost kind of comes off a little cantaloupe. Like I, I literally kind of feel like that smells similar to cantaloupe. Or like there's cantaloupe in it. I don't get anything bright like lemon, like orange, or mandarin, or lime. It's kind of muted like a cantaloupe. Okay, well, I love all of those. <laughs> That's not helpful. Okay. Now, I got another set. Um, let me take this in and see if I can pull up the scent notes. For us. So I got these off eBay. It's just, I, I don't know. I'm kind of a presentation kind of person. So these are the Mother's Day bars. The She Is Bundle. Um, courage, kindness, and strength. Oh, these came from Kansas. The other ones came from Pennsylvania, which was kind of cool, but they came the same exact time, which is weird, because the Pennsylvania one shipped sooner. Um, so this is not the box that it came in. Well, that's interesting. Hmm. So they repackaged it? No, well this is nice, okay. It's it's inside the box here, wow. Gave me my receipt and how to thank you sticker. That one's very nice. Go Kansas, okay. Oh, you guys, now I'm impressed. She gave me some other stuff, plus here is, well, I'm very, very impressed. That was so nice. I was not expecting that. All right, let's see what she gave me. This is so nice. Aw, may you be proud of the work you do, the person you are, and the difference you make. Like, look how sweet. Well, that's nice, a little notebook. And a pen. Has something on it. Never forget the difference you make. Like you guys, like how nice is that? I don't think you can tell. It's, the camera's gonna keep trying to focus on my face. Like that's, this is a decent pen. I'm gonna write on, it writes really nice too. Well, I'm impressed. <laughs> Here I am, you know, like uh, on the outside, it was kind of beat up. <laughs> She more than impressed me. I feel bad now. Like in this, like nice gift box. Like look at that. Wow. Okay. I take back being <laughs> a snob about it. Um. Okay. She is. So I'm excited. I'm gonna probably just reuse that box. <laughs> so let's dig in. So y'all know, <laughs> just cause I don't. Um, oh, and it's okay. Um, like this one's kind of broken, but I mean, it's to be expected. I mean, the presentation was amazing, so I can't complain. Okay, this one is Courage. And this is Bold Raspberry Red Mango Leap Into Pink Amber. When you have amber, I'm like, it's gonna be perfumey. I'm gonna love it. I love raspberry. Oh yes, that I'm obsessed with and that is 100% staying in my club. Wow, that is so good. Wow. Holy moly, I love that. That, I would wear that as perfume. That's fantastic, okay. I'm sure y'all know that and I'm just now finding out. That's courage. Next one is kindness. And this is 
Dewy Greens Uplift Enduring Notes of Magnolia and White Musk. I mean, it sounds amazing other than Dewy Greens. Oh, well, wait a minute. I got some greens there, I think. I will have to see. It kind of reminds me of like a bar of soap. Fancy soap. Um, I think I like the magnolia and the white musk. I tend to kind of like things that smell like fresh, clean soap. Oh, it's actually really pretty. I, okay, that might be a keeper. We'll see. Last but not least, strength. Nectarine sweetens fresh pineapple with a gentle touch of sunkissed lemon. Oh, that's good too. Wow. Something in here smells kind of like coconut. If I didn't know that it didn't have coconut. I don't get punch you in the nose. Um, pineapple, lemon, or orange. Again, that's like a coconut milk fruity almost perfumey dang and it's creamy kind of like a smoothie but in the most pretty way dang well okay so these are not helpful <laughs> so far they're all keepers we'll see on more what i think about them they've had enough time to cure so okay um that's pretty cool. I'm happy. I have to mark that. I always give reviews, nice reviews anyway, but I have to give a really nice review on that one. All right, so that's my black market haul. <laughs> I plan to order some more wax bars. Um, have my eye on a few other warmers and Bath and Body Works candle holders kind of a thing. So I'll keep you posted when if I do that I'm still mulling things so we'll see and yeah you guys so I just thought I would share and thanks and we'll see as well stay tuned because I don't I I'm I've already set the date out just so I didn't forget I don't I want to do my Scentsy Club edits because I have four clubs but I kind of want to melt these first before I make harsh decisions plus if I get more bars so I'm probably not going to do it this month it might be no December when I do it plus in December I did get the go-ahead um, they signed waivers for the Bethlehem marketplace um to film that for you it's amazing it's like this live action play like you're immersed in it kind of like they take you around to different rooms in the church just like you're like the, the well a centurion takes you around but it's kind of like he takes you around to everything and it's just like you're fully immersed in the experience of the night Jesus was born it's amazing and I'm going to share it with you um so stay tuned for that what are you eating <laughs> literal toddler <laughs> I forget sometimes like Charlie wasn't as into things like I have no idea what he ate no clue. Um, and because he was a stray, he really tends to eat anything. Chicken nuggets, um, spaghetti. Like, he doesn't even care. He'll eat everything. <laughs> He's just so funny. But, yeah, you guys. Um, so, yeah, stay tuned. I've got some neat things coming up. And uh, Teddy B should be shipping out anytime now. I know I ordered a couple things from Salt Mountain Melts because I know Anya raved about the one. I was like... I have to get it. Everybody raves about the one. So I've got that coming. Um, I'll be getting the sorting hat. I gotta remember to save money for that. Not get carried away Christmas shopping because I know for sure I want that. Um, yeah, so stay tuned, guys. Sorry, I'm rambling, and we'll see you soon. Bye.